Hi friends, Stephanie Weeks here with ourwellnessrevolution.com and today I wanna to take a few minutes to talk about the health risks of EMF exposure. In this day and age, we are spending more and more time, hours a day on electronic devices or near them. It's becoming commonplace. So did you know that these devices could actually be hazardous to your health? Because they can. Now, we are all guilty of indulging a little bit too much in screen time and I will be the first to admit that I know the hazards and I still use these devices on a regular basis. The hazards that I'm talking about is EMF irradiation and EMF is an abbreviation for electromagnetic frequency. Now to understand EMF exposure, we have to first identify how we become exposed to electromagnetic frequencies. So a big culprit of EMF exposure is that handy little cell phone that we take with us everywhere we go. We place it in our pocket, we have it fixed to our ears, and when we're using it, we really should be using it on a speaker phone and we should be holding it away from our bodies. So if you've ever noticed that your cell phone is becoming hot when you're using it, um, this is because it's emitting uh, cell damaging microwaves and that's near your body so you want to definitely put that away from your body. Another culprit is Wi-Fi. Um, technically Wi-Fi works at the range of 2.5 gigahertz frequency which is the same as a microwave and the World Health Organization says that microwaves are high frequency radio waves that can be damaging to the body so we definitely don't want to be around those. So if you have a microwave you definitely want to get rid of it. It's horrible for your health one not only does it emit EMF radiation, it also kills the nutritional value of your food. It creates acidity in that food, and um, you can replace it with a steam convection oven, which will heat your food just as quickly, but far more safely. So exposure from Wi-Fi is also a culprit. It's hard to steer clear of this, but there are a few things that we can do to protect ourselves, like shutting off your Wi-Fi on your phone when you're not using it, and definitely turning off the Wi-Fi in your house uh, before you go to bed. You definitely will sleep better. Um, if you have a laptop, never use your laptop in your lap. Um, sperm mobility is decreased and DNA is fragmented in men who use devices on or near their junk, so be careful with that, fellas. Um, EMF also decimates your mitochondria, and you might remember the mighty mitochondria from middle school science, the powerhouse of the cell. Without them, the cells die. Um, there are studies dating back to the 50s and 60s, so this is nothing new. We've known that EMFs are damaging for a long time. They damage the nervous system as well as the brain and heart, um, where it actually disrupts the natural heart rhythms that you have. Um, the Environmental Health Trust is warning that the dangers of electromagnetic electromagnetic uh, radiation contributes to a person's um, toxic body burden um, and it also has research that's pointing to um, it being hazardous to the blood-brain barrier so it compromises um, the blood-brain barrier and several studies are actually suggesting that it pokes holes in this protective layer which um, will allow toxic compounds to get into your brain. So that's pretty scary. Um, if you use Bluetooth headsets, you wanna stop using them right now. How do you think that signal is transferred from your phone to your Bluetooth that's going right through your head? That is scary. So um, I could show you some graphic pictures of a friend who got cancer from constantly wearing a Bluetooth device, but I'm not gonna show you here because it's really disgusting. Um, there was a $25 million government study released in 2016 that found that cell phone radiation could increase the risk of malignant uh, tumors in the brain and, and the area around the ear. So studies are correlating electromagnetic radiation symptoms with dementia as well. Um, in addition to causing DNA damage, cancer, um, it's indicated in um, a lot of brain issues including memory loss um, and learning um, capabilities. It's really affecting those in a lot of people. So detoxing yourself and your environment is very, very important. One great way to reset your body is through earthing and to learn more about earthing, you can check out one of my other videos that I did. Um, also protect yourself through the foods that you eat. Um, the food that we eat is medicine for our bodies. So eat lots of antioxidants and nutrient rich foods like pecans and walnuts. You could eat blueberries, asparagus, pomegranate seeds, um, broccoli, dates, cilantro is great, spirulina, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, uh, iodine, zinc, selenium. Um, I understand that it's not easy to disconnect, but we should do the best that we can each and every day to protect ourselves from EMF exposure. And I hope that if you found this video interesting, if you learned something new, share it with a friend, leave a comment of how you protect yourself, and I will see you guys next time.